we're talking with Connor Beaton, founder of Man Talk, about the book No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover. So how would uh, nice guys benefit from actually connecting with other guys? Yeah, this is where it's really important. The other sort of like um, piece that showcases that you know you're a nice guy or that that person's a nice guy is that he'll have really great relationships with a lot of women in his life and kind of shit relationships with the guys in his life or they're very surface level right they go out they get drunk they party but they don't really talk about anything meaningful right and so the benefit to having really close male relationships are that those guys are the ones that will call you forward they'll point out the things that you don't necessarily see or want to see mm -hmm. based on your based on your past and they'll be able to say hey do you think that that's like you're a nice guy coming out right. it sounds like you actually wanted to you know ask for this on the date or it sounds like you actually wanted to go do this but you didn't own that or claim it right and and they'll be able to hold him accountable to move through this nice guy syndrome that's that's causing him to not have what he wants in life in a uh, loving, supportive way, not judgmental. Yeah, in a loving, supportive way. I think there's a difference between calling out and calling forward. Right. Calling out is often from a place of like, I want to be right and call you out and tell yeah. you something. Ego. Calling forward is like, I know that you can be better. Yeah. I know that you can do better. And I know that you are working towards that. And so I'm going to help you along that journey. And they're two very different things. Right, so spending more time with quality men and yes. great role models yes. uh, will help men actually get closer and develop more like true intimacy with women. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And women look for that. A lot of the great women that I've ever talked to that come to our events or that I've interacted with, one of the first things that they look for is what are your relationships like with your guy friends? Right. Because if you just go out and party with them and you don't talk about meaningful things. Or you don't have any. <laughs> yeah, or you, or you don't have any at all. Or you yeah. have like one or two guy friends who, you know, are, are complete disaster zones. Yeah. Um, then that's a red flag for a lot of women. So having yeah. really close uh, relationships with the men in your life is extraordinarily important mm -hmm. and it's attractive. Right, definitely. Yeah. Because then I think it brings out more... Uh, confidence in a in a guy which of course is the second sexiest trait <laughs> after courage yeah there we go there we go <laughs> right so <laughs> if you have the courage to be vulnerable with other men then you're going to be able to develop, develop self confidence because you'll have a sense of who you truly are like i think Absolutely. authenticity is so so sexy yeah. so some of the things you can do is definitely go to mantalks.com um, definitely pick up dr glover's book no more mr nice guy you can also subscribe to the Man Talks podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, go to a Man Talks event in a city near you, a program that I have for guys that is basically how to get a girlfriend. And there'll be details and all the links below the video. It's a great intro. We good? Yeah, do you want to try it again though? No. I would try it one more time. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs>